I'm spending the day with Jonathan Kim, who is one of the nicest, most genuine, and funnest people to be around. (laughs) And with this help, I'm going to be able to show you all what it's like to start in this sport, the good and the bad, all while proudly wearing the title of Bucket Bitch. Always and forever. Always forever a bucket bitch. Be sure to subscribe and ring that little bell so you don't miss one moment of the dog show fun. This week's question of the week, what is your funniest bucket bitch memory? Share your answers in the comment section below. Being a bucket bitch is basically... Good morning. Doing all the schleppy stuff nobody else wants to do. All the dirty work. You usually spend your days cleaning up after and bathing dogs, blowing them dry, carrying the bag or bucket of all the necessary tools that the handler needs ringside. You know, brushes, sprays, bait. And when I say bait, I mean all kinds because each dog is different. It's a job that requires a lot of running and running and running and then waiting, waiting and waiting. And then there's more running and more waiting. But honestly, that's how you start in handling dogs. Whether it's as a junior handler learning the ropes or as an assistant to a professional handler, you are a bucket bitch. You have to start from the beginning to be able to truly understand how to groom, train, and handle dogs competitively. Jonathan started in dogs four years ago with his main breed being poodles. He's always loved dogs, but when he was younger, he didn't realize you could actually do it as a career. He went to school for classical music, but during his sophomore year, he realized he could actually make a living in dogs. And so the journey began. With a poodle in one hand and a bucket in the other, he set forth on the path to one day becoming a professional handler. You don't have to be traveling with somebody to be a bucket bitch. It's just a general term. Jonathan travels to shows with his own dogs, but then takes on the title with pride as he helps his friends. I'm like taking out nothing. Yeah, okay. Let's do handle Sounds good. You better go in that group one, baby. Schlepping and running and yeah, waiting. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so bucket bitches also get what? Coffee for the handlers. Everybody gets Everybody coffee. Gets coffee. Honestly, he's one of those people you definitely want to have as a friend because he tries to do as much as he can for everybody. And he does it with a never-ending smile and a giggle that is infectious. It's our go-go juice. <laughs> <laughs> can't help but want to be around him. So when he comes bearing bucket bitch gifts aplenty, OMG, he is the best. And that's because his desire to learn and help and grow is genuine and it's from the heart. He's willing to do whatever it takes to reach his goals and that is to one day be a professional handler with a dog from each of the seven groups on the end of his lead. I think it's a very cool goal. At the tender age of 26, I think this young man has an amazing future in the world of canine sports. And what did we learn following Jonathan? You can close your exercise ring on your eye watch with all the running. Memory skills are strengthened when given coffee orders to fill. This title is not just about schlepping. It's about photo and video taking. Loud ass cheering, clapping, hooting, and hollering. Time management including on-the-spot two-minute-per-dog addition math skills. And in return, you get to take breeds into the ring, expanding your skill set and knowledge. And as you get to work with all the different individuals, it's all about taking the best from the best and making it your own. And when you're a bucket bitch, that can be one of the biggest lessons learned. Jonathan does it all while maintaining his own program, showing his poodles, and of course, maintaining their amazing coats. When I asked him why poodles... He says poodles are really clean and easy and he loves their personalities, but the biggest draw is because he loves all that hair. The bigger the hair, the better. Being the age that he is, of course, I had to say he has no idea what big hair is. I have a senior photo to prove that one. And speaking of hair, his hair is just as amazing. He will never be found without a can of hairspray. I know this, why? Because I asked him to borrow it on my own hair. I love it. We're doing hair now. I'm here to tell you I've placed bets with the one and only Jonathan. Having a few more years under my belt, I'd say my experience has warranted me the ability to predict he won't be just a poodle man in 10 years. Breed his poodles, so. Right. But, but, okay, you know what? Huh? Because you're going to be like this amazing handler. Uh, and I'm going to say, so. I remember the day I <laughs> sat on you this bench. And you interviewed me. And, I, and you were like, I love poodles. And I you'll be in the ring with like a something else. German Shepherd. <laughs> right? <laughs> what happened to all the hair? Right. Oh, I got done. It's in my house. 
in my car all over me. That's where I did the hair. I think we're gonna see him with a multitude of breeds, and I'm guessing he'll be rocking the ring as one of the top all breed handlers out there. He'll just be covered in all different kinds of hair. Till next time. Bye. 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 Like, you can crack walnuts with